Hello. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about my tour around Firestone, which I often do when I come down here. So you'll be able to see exactly what I get up to. Right, let's start moving. So at the moment we're at the edge of Firestone. So what, what I mean by the edge of Firestone is that we're not in the edge that you'd normally go in by. But I mean this is the edge like the furthest distance away from the road so it's generally a lot more peaceful here. Uh, so what, what, what I've experienced is that is that some of these routes that you discover do seem to be top secret. So like this one, there is a sign post pointing from the road into here but You don't, you, not many people really come down here, so it's still a bit of a mystery. So as you can probably see over there, we're never filled. There's a good view here. And normally you don't cross the fields, but if you go in the back way, and this time I mean the real back way, you can get in from, um, get in from Haven Street. There's a footpath that goes directly from there. It's near that pub, which I can't actually remember the name at the moment, but it, there's a path that goes down by the side of the pub and in into here. You just cross over, a, the path goes alongside the edge of the field, so it goes over that way. So it comes along down there and you get to a stile, then you cross a little sort of entranceway, then you cross another stile and then you're in. Not easy to explain because I haven't actually showed you. So let's carry on a little bit. So as you can see in the distance down there, you can you can see uh, loads of trees. Now uh, these trees generally get harvested. The people grow them so that they cut them and use them for um for for nice um fuel. They use it for fuel. Not just any fuel, but fuel that is that has a very green effect. So, so it's actually much better than burning coal or burning oil. So further down, you'll see that we are by a river. Now this river, it's not, it's not really much in there at the moment, but when, when it does come up, it sort of goes to the top of, it sort of goes a good foot up. It's actually deeper than it looks, but at the moment, it just looks like a little path that goes down that's just below. It does fill up when when it rains or something like that. It's not a tidal. Ah, oh, actually, there is some water here at the moment. So there is some presence of water about, and there are lots of what are those insects. They look like pond skaters. I think they're pond. No, water boatmen. Pond skaters. These ones are water boatmen are upside down, and we haven't got any of them in here. So yeah, they're pond skaters. So let's move up a bit, let's carry on, see what else we can find in here. You can see there's a um, a tree trunk down here. In fact, you can actually just cross over onto the other side of the river. Now, we don't want to go back at the moment, but this just takes you onto the main, onto the main walk. So as you can see those trees up there at the moment, this sort of, the entrance that I talked about when you're going from the road is over there somewhere. So, so it sort of comes in from there and it comes down the side. But also the main path is sort of over there. So we'll, we'll carry on a bit further. Hmm, nice red bag. I don't think that really belongs here. Yeah, they should get rid of it. Uh, moving on further, we also We'll find something else to discover. What's that that just flew? It's a bird that just went up. Probably a pigeon. Yeah, just a pigeon, I expect. Uh, let's go further on. Oh yeah, this is one important bit that I always, always remember is this bit where it crosses the river this side. So, at the moment there's no water again. It's still totally dried up. But, but you do have to jump it. And with a bike you can get it across, but for the novice it's not necessarily easy. 
So we'll get over here, let's put these in at the moment. So we'll carry on. So, so we'll be at our next place in a minute.